With the introduction of Groovy calculations, we have the ability to do things never before possible. A group of Groovy methods gives us the ability to produce real-time consolidated reporting. When a planner changes a product and a product level plan type or adds a person and a workforce model or even changes the depreciation properties of an asset in a CapEx model, a consolidated P&L can be produced immediately. Groovy methods enable developers to consolidate and synchronize the applications on form save in real time. No more nightly processes are required, no more long delays or administrative interaction is needed. Users make the changes and the results are available. The users have complete control over their reporting. It's that simple. Take a look at this example. Here, we override seeded growth rates at parent levels of channel and delivery method. These changes are saved and allocated appropriately to the base level of all the dimensions. Only the impacted products are synchronized to the product level reporting queue. When reports are executed, the results are visible immediately. At the same time, the data is consolidated to product, channel, and delivery method at total levels and moved to the financial reporting application. When I refresh the two non-product detailed reports in the FinCube, the changes are immediately visible. Although this took about five seconds to finish, the product level synchronization took less than two seconds and the logs show the data consolidation and synchronization to the financial application took less than one second. I want to emphasize several things. One, no admin action was required. Two, the data consolidation and movement happened in less than a second. And three, no other scheduled processes were required. I laid out some comparatives on this process. These are real results on a client application with and without Groovy. Based on the way Groovy methods work, I am hard pressed to come up with a reason why larger or smaller applications won't see the same results. If you have a large application and are struggling to get responsive forms or need real-time consolidated reporting, I can help. If you are concerned about moving to the cloud, this type of performance will hopefully alleviate any concerns you have around the performance. If you are concerned about other aspects of the cloud version and planning, reach out to me. I was one of the biggest detractors and would be more than happy to walk you through why I dread going back to on-prem projects.